So on my brows, I'm going in with the Dior Show Brow Styler in the shade Black, and I'm just going to fill in my brows. For primer today, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Priming Spray. This claims to even out your skin tone and it's also good for oil absorbing. So I'm just going to spray this on the center of my face. It feels really cool on the face when I put it on. I'm going to let that sink into my skin for a second and then we'll go in with foundation. You guys are probably wondering, where have I been, girl? Why haven't you been uploading? So if you don't follow me on Snapchat or like my vlogging channel or like my other social media, you might not know that for the third time, my car was crashed for the third time in LA. Long story short, I was trying to cross the road in my car and um, the left lane stopped for me and then I was gonna cross over to the other side and a pickup truck comes and he just boom hits me and then my car just like turns and my car is like completely wrecked for the third time for the third time I swear I did not get into one accident living in New York no offense if you drive in LA but like I feel like people here are so careless they're always on their phone they're always doing something and they're just like don't care you know what I mean anyways I'm not blaming it on anyone I'm gonna do my makeup as I talk to you guys for foundation, I'm using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup, and I'm using the shade 3W1. So basically, after the car accident, I got really, really stressed, and that caused me to get sick. Basically, I started to have another flare-up. If you guys don't know, I have ulcerative colitis. Um, so yeah, I had a flare-up, and my body literally shut down on me. I couldn't leave my house. I couldn't get out of bed. I couldn't even, like sit properly because my stomach would just be hurting 24 7 and then i called my doctor and he ended up giving me a medication which i used to take and that has pretty much been helping me with my stomach but if you guys don't know i stopped eating meat about five six months ago to help with my colitis and it did help so much i still don't eat meat and i really don't miss it but i guess the stress level just took over my body and it cost me to get sick so i was pretty bummed out that i couldn't do anything for you guys i couldn't film i have so many video ideas that i want to film for the holidays so i was like no please i need to get better so i literally took the entire week to just stay home relax do nothing at all whatsoever i mean i was still working emailing but not filming not taking any photos not um posting anything whatever i did post was stuff that sponsored or stuff that i had to upload Oof, this foundation is leaking i missed working so much like i need to be doing something if i'm not doing anything i feel like i'm not being productive and i'm just like wasting my time and I just, I wanted to do something. So I was like, you know what? The only thing that I can do is get better so that I can actually focus on, you know, giving my all when I start filming and working. So I feel a lot better. I'm still not 100%, but I'm definitely getting there. You know what's funny? I lost eight pounds in like three days. That's how sick I was. When you have a flare up, it hits you so hard and it will hit you out of nowhere. So it, it was so unexpected for me because it didn't come right after the accident. It came a few days after that. To contour my face, I'm going in with the Kavon D Shade and Light Contour Kit. And this is in the cream version. I am going to use the shade Woodland and I'm just going to outline the hollows of my cheekbones a little bit on my forehead and down to the bridge of my nose. A lot of people say that I have a small forehead so I don't need to contour it, but I basically do it to even out my skin because if I don't add a little bit of dimension to my forehead, then it just kind of looks flat. So that's why I like to go in and, you know, add a little bit of color to my forehead. I feel like this color looks a little dark. <laughs> It's a little bit too dry on my skin, so I am going to spray a little bit of the primer that I used on my skin, and I'm just going to blend that in. I don't know how I feel about this cream contour because it was a little difficult to blend, and it kind of looks dirty on my skin. I did use the medium shade. I feel like the lightest one would have probably worked a lot better, but... 
I don't know, I'm not crazy about the formulas. For concealer today, I am so excited because I'm using the All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer by Urban Decay. And I'm using the shade Light Warm. This is a full coverage matte concealer and it's new. So I am excited to use this on my face. First impression, this thing is thick. This thing is thick. Okay, I definitely have to work quick with it because it's setting under my eyes. Oh my God, this thing sets so quickly. You gotta be fast with it. Okay, wait. Oh got it, I got it, I got it. So first impression on the concealer, I like the coverage. It did set really, really quickly, so you have to work super fast with it. Aside from that, I love the shade. I feel like it goes really nice with the rest of my makeup. So I'm gonna go in and do my eyes, and then we'll finish the rest of the face. So on my eyes today, I'm using a new product. This is the ColourPop All I See Magic Palette, and this is part of their holiday collection. I love every single product that they have released for the holidays, especially the collection with Sephora. I am literally so obsessed. So pretty and festive. Just look at these colors. I'm going in with this shade right here and I'm just going to apply this on my crease. Right on my crease, I'm going in with this mauve purple shade and I'm just going to work it on my crease so living in LA has been nice but honestly I miss New York so much I miss the seasons I miss the weather changing I miss the people I know that sounds so weird but it's a different vibe in LA it's definitely something that you have to get used to it's very slow paced as well and the food is not that amazing Aside from that, work-wise, it has been really great living here. Now on my lid, I'm going in with Now and Zen, and I'm just going to apply this all over the lids with my Real Techniques shading brush. This is the Gigi Hadid and Maybelline Liquid Eyeliner, and it has a felt tip, so I'm excited to use it. I'm just going to create a thick cat eye right above my eyelashes. That was pretty easy to do. I like the eyeliner and I like how easy it was to apply. To prep my lashes for my falsies, I'm going in with my Maybelline Gigi Hadid Lash Sensational Mascara. And I'm just gonna go ahead and prep my lashes for my falsies. I'm gonna put on my falsies. I haven't even told you guys, but I'm going to New York for the holidays and I'm so excited because I already planned out all of my winter outfits and I wanna go ice skating. I wanna do all these like winter things that you cannot do here in LA. So I'm really excited about that. On my waterline, I'm also going in with the Gigi Hadid and Maybelline Gel Eyeliner in the shade, what shade is this? Nude, this is in the shade Nude and I'm just going to apply this on my waterline. Under my lower lashes, I'm going in with this dark brown eyeshadow and I'm just going to work this, pack on this color. So if you guys want to see everything that we'll be doing while in New York, make sure to go subscribe to the vlogging channel because we are doing Vlogmas and I am so over the top excited. We already bought the Christmas tree. We bought the decorations. We're doing a white Christmas theme this year. So we're decorating our entire loft. I'm thinking about doing a video here on my main channel, just showing you guys my entire apartment and how I decorated for Christmas and all that good stuff. So if that's something that you will want to see, let me know in the comments below. I love decorating my home. Home. we actually just got new couches yesterday we had to get rid of our last couches because Mackie boy will go on them at, as soon as he came from outside he would jump on the couch and basically the smell was already in the couches so no matter how many times we clean them no matter what we did to those couches they just smelled so bad so it got to a point where we just had to replace them so we ended up getting I don't know if you guys remember my OG followers will probably remember this, but we had white couches in our second official apartment. So we ended up repurchasing those couches and I love them so much. They're so comfortable and they just go so perfect with this apartment because it's very modern and sleek. 
and yeah i'm really excited for you guys to see it i'm gonna take treat yourself and i'm just going to pop this right on the inner corners of my eyes just to basically open up my eyes a little bit more so I don't have a new bronzer to use today. So I'm going in with my MAC bronzer in Dark Deepest. And I'm just going to work this on the outer parts of my face. For blush, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Kid in Radiant. And I'm going to take this beautiful peachy shade. It's in the shade Coast Line. And I'm just going to apply this on my cheeks. This is the ColourPop and Sephora collab, and this is the Highlighter Trio. I'm going to go in with Spoon because Spoon is screaming my name. That's pretty. This is also part of the new holiday collection from ColourPop, so I want to use a darker shade on my lips today. Let's see, what color should we use? <gasps> oh, this is so pretty. I'm pretty much done with my makeup, so I just want to straighten my hair a bit. So I'm just going to go in with my flat iron and literally just like take small pieces and then straighten them out. I don't really like to go in any specific order because I, I like my hair to be straight, but I still like a little bit of volume in it. So as I straighten it, I literally just like run my fingers through it and then give it like that messy undone look. I feel like my hair has been growing so much. When I go to New York, I'm not going to cut it. I've been to New York a few times this year, and every time I go, I cut it. But I'm just going to let my hair grow. I'm going to get my keratin again because I get it every six months. Um, but this time, I'm not going to cut it. I'm just going to let it grow. And yeah. So this is the final look. I love how it turned out. I feel like a lot of people are going to be like, girl, your lips are uneven. But if you don't know, I got lip injections a few months ago and... I mean, I liked it, but it wasn't for me. I wanted to try it to see if it would even on my lips. It sort of did, but I was like, you know what? I don't really need it. So I let it go away. So my lips are uneven again. So I try and make them even as much as I can. I love how they look. These are my natural lips. And I don't think I will get lip injections again just because the whole experience was kind of weird and it's just not my thing. Um, but yeah, this is the final look. Great way to end the video, Diana. <laughs> this is the final look look i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching let me know what other videos you want to see in the comments below i will link all the products and what i am wearing in the description box below so i will see you all in the next one very soon bye